Ukraine was rocked by a wave of missile strikes on Thursday, leaving at least 11 people dead and more than 20 injured, according to regional authorities. The strikes, which included advanced missiles that Ukrainian forces could not shoot down, were launched by Russia in retaliation for what the Ministry of Defense called terrorist actions organized by Kyiv. In a statement, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said six people were killed directly in the missile strikes, describing it as a horrific act of aggression in Ukraine. The Russian Ministry of Defense said the attack was in response to a small Ukrainian armed group crossing into Russia. Kyiv denounced the overnight assault on peaceful cities and villages of Ukraine. A total of 84 missiles were launched by Russia, with 34 of them intercepted by Ukrainian air defenses. However, six of the strikes involved hypersonic missiles that eluded Kyiv's air defenses, according to the Ukrainian military. Yuri Ainat, a spokesperson for the Air Force Command of Ukraine, said they have no capabilities to counter these weapons. International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, Director General Rafael Grossi expressed his astonishment at the complacency surrounding the situation, calling it a perilous situation and warning that one day our luck will run out if the issue is not addressed. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant, located in the region, lost all off-site power due to the Russian missile attacks on Thursday. Grossi has pledged a continued presence at all of Ukraine's nuclear plants. President Zelensky also said he will not be meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, as he does not trust him. CNN has published reports on secret talks that ended the siege of the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol in May last year.